What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to unjailbreak and restore your jailbroken device without upgrading firmware. So if you aren't aware, anytime that you unjailbreak your device, you're forced to upgrade to the latest firmware, which very possibly might not be able to be jailbroken. So just for an example, let's say that iOS 9 is officially out, but it can't be jailbroken. Now let's say that we're on iOS 8.4 and we're jailbroken. Then something goes wrong with your device and it's unstable and we have to unjailbreak and restore our device. Well, usually this means that you're going to have to upgrade to iOS 9, which means you can no longer jailbreak because you can't downgrade. But those days are in the past with Cydia Impactor. What this mobile tool does is allow you to completely restore your device using only your phone, your iPod, or your iPad. No computer required. So this means that in the same scenario that I just mentioned, if we're jailbroken on iOS 8.4 and we use Cydia Impactor because our device is unstable, then we stay on iOS 8.4 and we're still able to re-jailbreak after a fresh restore. So hopefully all that makes sense and I won't get into the technical details or anything, but if you do want to know more about how it works and you can actually read the description in Cydia or you can actually read a little more on Reddit, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to just click on and you can check that out for yourself. So this is a very simple tool to use. Like I said, everything is done on the device. You don't have to have a computer or anything. It is a good idea to make sure that your device is plugged in. You have plenty of battery. Make sure you are connected to the internet and make sure you back up your device because this is going to be a fresh restore. So everything is going to be deleted just like it would be if you did a fresh restore. So all you have to do is go over here to Cydia Impactor after you've downloaded and installed this from Cydia. You tap on this. And you can see we have just a red text line right down here that says delete all data and unjailbreak the device. So we're just going to tap on that and then you just have to confirm that. So just tap on delete all and then it's going to go through its process. Now this can take a little bit of time. So just sit back, relax, don't touch your device, don't hit the power button, don't unplug it. Just let it do its thing and let it complete the entire process before you actually touch it. Now keep in mind this is only going to work for iOS 8.3 and iOS 8.4. Also keep in mind that this is still in beta so it's possible you might run into some bugs but I've already done this once before and I didn't have any issues. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up through this process and I'll catch you on the other side. All right, so you can see that it's completely done and we have the hello screen right here. So you do have to actually go through this entire process again and reactivate your device. So just go ahead and set this up here and then we'll be good to go. All right, so you can see right here that if we tap on settings, go to general, about, that we're still on iOS 8.4. So, I mean, at this point, if I wanted to, and I probably will, I'll re jailbreak this device and you can see if I swipe over here that we don't have Cydia anymore and we're not jailbroken. So this is a massive improvement and this is something that is a straight up game changer for the jailbreak community. Just because, I mean, first of all, it's completely done on your mobile device. So on your iPhone, your iPod or your iPad. It doesn't require a computer whatsoever. Second, it does something that we've been wanting to do for a very long time, which is restore our device without having to upgrade firmware. That is huge because that allows us to obviously restore our device when our device is unstable, or maybe we're just trying to get rid of it and we wanna leave it on a jailbreakable firmware for the next person. And the plus side is it comes straight from Soric. So you know, especially once it's out of beta, that it's gonna be very stable. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. All right guys, until next time, peace.